Hi guys. So in this session we will see what is L3 out and how to configure the L3 out in ACI. So L3 out in ACI is the set of configuration that define connectivity to outside of ACI. It includes the routing protocol options. You can choose PGP, OSPF, EIGRP or you can choose a static routing to create L3 out. Now we will see how to create L3 out with the help of the Terraform. So this is our main file. Now I'll need to add the some resources from the Terraform registry to create the L3 out. Before starting the configuration of L3 out, I will show you in the epic GUI how to start doing the configuration from the GUI and then I'll also show you how to use the Terraform registry to use the resources to create the L3 out. So let's start. So this is my sandbox epic. I will go in tenant. In tenant, I'll need to open this is my existing abc tenant so this is my abc tenant in this tenant we'll need to go in networking in networking here you can see l3 out so if you want to do the configuration in the l3 out through gui you create l3 out clicking on l3 out and you need to provide some inputs so here you need to provide the name to the new l3 out that you are creating also you need to map the existing vrf or if you want to create a new varf then you need to associate that vrf to this l3 out and the last thing is l3 domain so if you have L3 domain, you can use it or you can create a new one and associate that L3 domain to this L3 out. And here I'm showing you L3 out with the help of the static route. So here I will not use this protocol. Here you can see BGP, EIGRP and OSPF. If you want to configure the L3 out with the help of BGP protocol, then you can choose it. Or if you want to configure the L3 out with the help of the OSPF and EIGRP, then you can choose any protocol. But here in this example, I will show you how to create the L3 out with the help of the static route. Now I will go to Terraform registry and I will show you how to configure these things like giving the name to the L3 out, creating the VRF as well as associating this VRF to this L3 out and association to the L3 domain to this L3 out. Now I will open Terraform registry. I will search L3 out and this and I will get uh, some resources to create a new L3 out. So here there are many resources are available so for creating the new l3 out you can use this one aci l3 outside so i will use this script to create a new l3 out so i'll copy this script and i will paste in my main file so this is the resource aci l3 outside and this is the name given to this resource so i will use this example name to this resource now we created and we used this name ac underscore tenant but we did not use dot dev so i will remove this dot dev from here i will use ac underscore tenant dot example dot id it means i am giving the relation and I'm creating a new L3 out in this ACI tenant and the name to this L3 out I'm giving this one demo underscore L3 out and the description is from Terraform and I'll keep the rest of the things as it is 
so this is my script for creating the new l3 out so i will save this and we'll see if there is any error so i'll clear my screen now let me run typing this command terraform init i will initialize the terraform it got successfully initialized now the next thing is to check the plan so i'll type terraform plan to see if there is any error in my plan so so i'm not getting any error so far so here you can see our configuration in the script is correct and there is no error so here you can see we are adding a new resource and there is some modification in the script so now i will run this script terraform apply so i'll type this command to push the configuration so before pushing it will show you that this resources which are existing in the aci are getting refreshed there is no change in those resources only we are adding a one new resource that is to create a new l3 out so here you can see it is showing that we are creating a new l3 out so i'll need to confirm here i'll need to accept or approve it so i'll type yes and now it is pushing the configuration to the apic so here you can see this resource got added to the apic now i'll verify in the apic so i'll cancel this session i'll cancel it and i'll refresh the page and here you can see in the l3 out we created demo l3 out from terraform and nothing is there only we created the name of this l3 out and it is showing here so it got pushed successfully now in the l3 out if you see here in the epic gui we'll need to associate the vrf and the l3 domain so here there is no vrf association is there in this l3 out and also there is no l3 domain tagged to this l3 out so i'll go back to my terraform registry i'll try to create a new l3 domain so i'll type here sorry i'll need to type here l3 domain so i'll get this script to create a new l3 domain i'll copy this script i will add in our main file and here you can see the name of this resource is acl3 domain profile and the name to this resource is example if we run this script we will get a new l3 domain with this name l3 domain profile one will get created and that we need to associate this with this l3 out and now we will associate this l3 domain to this l3 out so we'll need to use some relation so first relation would be for vrf and the second would be for l3 domain now this is the script for new l3 out and if you see here so we'll need to use this relation to associate the vrf to this l3 out so i'll go and add this to our main file so if i'll need to add two extra lines one for vrf and one for l3 domain so relation it will be like uh, this aci underscore tenant dot example dot id so once you add this statement your existing vrf will get mapped to this l3 out now the next relation i'll show you this will be to add this l3 domain so if you open this registry you will see l3 domain this is the relation you'll need to use to create for association of l3 domain with the l3 out so i'll use this relation and i'll need to add the name of the l3 domain so we have this name 
of L3 domain. So I'll use this name dot example dot id. Now I'll save this before running. I'll check the plan of this script. Okay, so here there is no error in the script. Now I'll try to push this configuration terraform in it. Oh, sorry, terraform apply. Now I'll approve this change. And here you can see L3 domain is getting created and it got associated to this L3 out. I'll open Epic GUI and I'll refresh this page. Then here you will see VRF is ABC got added to this L3 out. And here you can see L3 domain got associated to this L3 out. Now the next thing in the L3 out is to create the node profile. So here if you click on this L3 out, you will see logical node profile. So if I click here, nothing is there. So you need to configure the nodes on which you are creating the L3 out. So we'll need to use this name logical node profile to search the script in the Terraform registry. So if I'll check here, I'll get the script for this one and in, and here you can see logical node profile is there, this one. I'll copy this script, I'll add it to our main file. Now I'll just need to change its name. We used example name for all our resources. So I'll use the same name here for this resource. And here the name of this node profile is demo node and the rest of the statements are optional if you want to keep this you can have it or you can delete it if you do not need this now i'll save and run this file so i'll directly apply this configuration terraform apply and i'll approve this change i'll type yes and now it is getting pushed to the epic so you can see one resources got added and there are two modifications in the script now i'll open the l3 out and under the in the node profile if i click here i lost my connection so let me try to open sandbox epic okay so i'll go to our tenant in our tenant I'll open ABC tenant. I'll open this L3 out. In L3 out, I'll open logical node profile. If I click here, now you can see demo underscore node got created. So I'll click here and open this demo node. So this is the name of logical node profile. So in this logical node profile, there are no nodes are configured. So here you can see nothing is there. So I'll need to add this nodes. So let's say if I'm creating L3 out on the two leaf, that is 101 and 102, I'll need to add this two nodes here. So in Terraform registry, this is the script ACI logical node to fabric node. So you'll need to use this script to add the node in the L3 out. So I'll copy this script. I'll paste in the main file and I'll try to modify the configuration. So this is the name ACI logical node to fabric node example and uh, this is the relation. So it seems it's a correct relation. And here we have uh, 101 and 102 nodes in our setup. So I'll use 101 leaf node to create the L3 out. So I have, I have modified this from 201 to 101 and this will be my router ID 10.0.1.1 and I'll use router ID as a loopback ID. So I'll type yes. Now I'll save this configuration and I will push to the epic. So I'll directly run Terraform apply and will I'll approve 
this changes and then it will push to the api now it got added so let me check in the api so here you can see so i have added a 101 node this is the router id and this is the loopback address now as i'm creating the l3 out on 101 leaf node and 102 leaf node so i'll need to add one more uh, leaf node so i'll use a 102 in the same script so i just need to copy the same resource i'll need to give the name is example 2 and this will be 102 and the rest of the things is same i'll need to change the router id now i'll give 10.0.1.2 to this leaf node i'll save this configuration i will try to push the configuration so i'll type terraform apply and will push this configuration So now you can see this logical node to fabric node example 2 got created and pushed to the APIC. So I'll open the APIC and we'll see uh, this is the node 102, this is the router ID and this is the loopback address of this leaf node. So my node profile is done. Now the next thing is to configure the rest of the things so if i click here on the logical node profile so these are my configured nodes and now i need to configure the logical interface profile before configuring the logical interface profile i'll show you uh, how to configure the static route on these nodes